Hello everyone, it's Maria here with you today and I am back to share two simple projects featuring the stamp and die of the month by Not Too Shabby. So if you haven't seen my last video, this is the stamp set that I'm using today and it comes with the coordinating dies and they are so cute. I already have my cardstock lined up here inside my Misty stamping tool and I'm also using the creative corners or something like that. I cannot remember what they're called, but it's because I will be stamping the images in random order to create this sort of like a pattern paper style. And I really love to do this sometimes when the images are just so cute and I want to feature them all. So we are going to color the images using a combination of Copic markers and Spectrum Noir alcohol markers. And so I first started with the soda and this is R39 and I started with the dark first and then I will be adding some colors of R29 and then R27 just to blend all the colors together. And I really love doing the um, coloring the stamps sometimes starting with the dark especially when it comes to red because it's just easier for me to color them. Next, I will be coloring the hot dog, so the bun first with some E30 and E33 markers. And then the hot dog will be colored with Spectrum Noir Dark Red Blend. So I'm just adding the colors here and some a few dots just to give it a little bit more texture. And then the hot dog will be darker than the soda because, of course, it's cooked, so it's it's... A bit darker and I will also add a gray marker here just to make the edges look darker and a lot different compared to the color of the soda so this is Y26 I think to color the mustard and then this is what it looks like once it's all done I added the be mine stamp to make it look more Valentine ish and added the hearts and colored the hearts as well with the Spectrum Noir Magenta Blend. So I wanted to add a little bit more and to fill in the spaces in between. So I'm using my R20 Copic markers and I'm just adding some dots here. They are just random dots. Sometimes I press the marker harder and then sometimes it's just really light just to add some random dots to fill in the space so that they look so much better and as you can see it does look better once you do this and it doesn't look so empty so i've done that and then i originally wanted to add the sentiment and this is the sentiment that i stamped and heat set and then die cut using the coordinating dies but then I decided that the background is already super busy and there's already a sentiment there, the Be Mine sentiment. So I decided to cut the stamp image and I'm just going to add this striped black and white paper by MFT Stamps and then I'm going to adhere this. I decided to leave this card alone just like it is because it's so cute and I didn't think that I needed to add more to this card so in order to separate the two busy patterns I decided to add the black strip there and just that just sort of grounded the image and I really love how this one turned out so this is what it looks like I love this first card and this is sort of like a Valentine's Day card. But then I have a few more images here and I know that I haven't used the salt and pepper shaker yet. So I decided to create a Valentine's tag. So I'm just going to ink blend this tag using some worn lipstick and I think the other one was carved pumpkin or something like that. And I'm just adding some colors here. And then I will be using a stencil by Trinity Stamps. These are the small hearts, just to add a little bit more texture to the tag, just those hearts. So I will add some pink hearts and some orange hearts to just amp this tag a little bit. So I'm going to spray the water there and picked up the excess with some paper towel and then we will be adding the images and adhering them with the liquid glue. So I added the sentiment first that I 
stamped earlier and then we're just going to add the images and this will be a cute Valentine's tags that I can use for some Valentine's treats and I've added some of the cinnamon hearts from Trinity stamps just to finish the look and then added the red bow and some blue twine to finish off the tag so these are the two projects as you can see they are very simple I decided to create simple projects because the images are just so cute and it doesn't really need a lot of extra and as you can see I really love the card and as well as the tag. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so and click the notification bell to be notified of new content from this channel. Thank you again for stopping by today and happy stamping!